As mentioned earlier, the first Equality Scholarship was awarded in 1989. The following year, the Bay Area Network of Gay and Lesbian Educators, or Bengal, established the Bobby Griffith Memorial Scholarship. It is awarded to a Contra Costa County LGBT or Ally High School senior in memory of a young man from Contra Costa who committed suicide in 1983. After Bobby's death, his mother Mary joined PFLAG and learned that her faith could coexist with love and acceptance for LGBT people. She became a national advocate for LGBT rights and used her personal story to help countless other parents so they would not have to face the same tragedy that she did. Their story was chronicled in the book and film, Prayers for Bobby. Sadly, this past February, Mary died at the, at the age of 85. With her passing and with this year marking the 30th anniversary of the scholarship, it seems fitting that we award the Bobby Griffith Mora Scholarship for a final time and for the special amount of $7,000. As mentioned, I received the Bobby Griffith Scholarship in 2010. After I graduated from UC Riverside, I joined pg &E in part because of its support for the Equality Scholarships. I'm proud to present the 2020 Bobby Griffith Memorial Scholar, Soli Guzman, who just graduated from the Athenian School in Danville. She's going to Mount Holyoke College to study biology and neuroscience. Most of Soli's LGBT activism has been through Glisten's National Student Council, which is comprised of just 12 students from across the country. Glisten is an organization that works to end discrimination and harassment based on sexual orientation and gender identity or expression, as well as advocate for LGBT cultural inclusion in K-12 curriculum. It's especially fitting that Soli is receiving the Bobby Griffith Scholarship as Bengal became the first SF East Bay chapter of Glisten. As Education and Outreach Coordinator for Glisten, Soli developed educational material that has impacted millions of students and educators across the United States. She's worked with well-known brands to bring LGBT issues into the spotlight on a national level, been a speaker at Glisten's annual Respect Awards in Los Angeles and New York, has been featured in publications including The Advocate and Teen Vogue, and has leveraged her influence to highlight intersectionality between LGBT people and people of color. According to one of Glisten's youth program associates, Soli has proven to be an exceptionally bright, charismatic, thoughtful, driven, and inspired person who constantly seeks ways to help others. She is the kind of student whose energy inspires you to go to work every day. Congratulations, Soli. Thank you, Mr. Ewan. Hello, everyone. I am so excited to be accepting the Bobby Griffith Scholarship for its final time today. Thank you to the Equality Scholarship Fund for this award. I want to accept this award in memory of all Black trans individuals who have been murdered for simply being who they are. I got involved with LGBTQ plus advocacy for this very reason. So no LGBTQ plus student feels like they cannot be who they are. I have made it my goal to create an inclusive school environment for LGBTQ plus students where they can feel accepted and love. I have fulfilled this um, commitment through my work with Glisten's National Student Council. For the past three years, I have dedicated countless hours to this work to ensure that K-12 students feel safe in school and do not have to worry about their gender identity or sexuality in school. My work with GLSEN has allowed me to help thousands of LGBT students nationwide, giving me the opportunity to find my voice. I've been able to talk to fellow activists and meet and befriend celebrities, being interviewed by both Teen Vogue and The Advocate, worked with Hollister and Morphe Cosmetics. And I got to give Tim Cook, the CEO of Apple, an award and find my chosen family. Meeting celebrities is a plus, but when I receive messages from students across the nation thanking me for what I do, that is what matters. Knowing that my work has made at least one student feel validated and safe at school is worth every hour I've spent with this organization. I want to continue my work of LGBT plus advocacy and I will continue till all students feel, feel safe and all black lives matter. In the future, I want to pursue my degree in biology to hopefully become a neurologist where I can advocate for LGBT rights in the medical field while helping children with epilepsy. I can't wait to embark on this journey and thank you again to the Equality Scholarship for this opportunity. Thank you, Jason, and congratulations, Soli.